What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So today guys, don't prefer to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys, but it is currently Saturday and it is Thanksgiving weekend and today I work from 6 to closing and so last week's video was all about like the um, Ontario like schools and what happened with that. So pretty much we reached a deal um, for like all the custodians and the um, like EAs and uh, secretaries. So pretty much we were we weren't off school this whole week. We were at school, but I had co-op on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and not Thursday or Friday. Uh, just because Monday night we had co-op from four till ten thirty as well in the morning. Just because there was like a debate shooting live at 7.30. So we were there from 4 till 10.30, which was a lot of fun. We were on site instead of being at the studio. So we were at this place called The Link. And it was, it was really, really fun. And so pretty much on Thursday, instead of doing Politically Speaking like we do every Thursday, they re-aired the debate so we didn't have to go in for the morning or the night. And then yesterday they just gave us another day off, which was which was really nice but anyway I'm about to go downstairs and uh, recently I've been watching Gotham but as well as I still watch Murdoch a lot it's still my favorite show but Gotham um, I'm, I started it last Saturday and I'm already on season 2 episode 19, 18, 19, one of them and they're like all 40 something minutes long so anyway it is a really good show, but I'm about to go watch Gotham and have my leftover wings from last night. So it is now later and yesterday's video is like currently getting uploaded and so it should be up on time. And sorry that this weekend there is no way life goes or best kind stories. That'll be next weekend. And uh, I believe there will be two more episodes of way life goes. I think we're on, um, if I get this right, I think we're on episode nine. So my goal is to get to episode 11. And um, let me just see if I go onto YouTube and check it out and find where, uh, let's see, if I go to my channel and find it. So the video was, let's see, episode nine. So season one, episode nine, which was designing a film studio. And so we have all of these, there are nine episodes, and there have been, I think, there have been seven episodes of Best Kind Stories, which this one is not coming to an end. This will be going on for, I don't know how long, but that should be interesting. But this will be the end of season one, and then we'll reboot it in season two in 2020. So that should be interesting, rebooting that. But anyway, it is like a pretty... It's a nice day outside, and uh, I don't know, let me just fix this, and so it is, a, it is a very nice day outside though, and yes, our pool is closed. Um, I think, I forget when it closed, but it was sometime in October, and let me just, yeah, so it closed on October 1st, and so, I mean, I, I wish it was still open, but... Anyway, um, I don't know, I'm probably just going to go back to watching Gotham and seeing, I don't know, I don't know what I'll be doing, but um, maybe I'll go outside and play hockey or something, that should be interesting, so I might catch you guys then. So, it is now 5.37 and... I just had dinner, I just made myself a sandwich for dinner because my mom and brother are off 
to church John's reading my dad's dropping me off to work so they're gonna have dinner later when I'm not here so I just kind of made myself a little bit of a sandwich but anyway I'm about to go off to work now because my shift's at six till closing so I guess I'll see you guys around like 10 40 around there It is currently 11.58 and tomorrow at like 2 p.m. we're going to my uncle's house for Thanksgiving and then on Monday we are having like a Thanksgiving dinner here so that should be good but my shift was good and I got home like an hour ago but I watched the Pittsburgh Penguins game and they ended up winning 7-4 to four, which it was a game even though it was like it was like six to two, and then, um, and then like Minnesota scored two back to back goals to make it six to four, and then Sam Lafferty got his first goal of his NHL career on an empty netter, which was good. But anyway, I'm about to show you some Canadian Halloween facts that you guys probably never knew before. We're talking Halloween events, um, so pretty much. The first one, Fright Nights at the p &E in Vancouver, um, and so it is at the Pacific National Ex Exhibitation is one of the most popular Halloween events in Canada, dubbed Western Canada's scariest uh, ha haunt. Friday Nights has seven haunted houses, 15 rides, and two thrilling live shows. Yeah, so I mean, it's on the date of event, 5.30 um, October, and uh, so, um, anyway, if you guys don't know, so, here in Ontario we have something called Canada's Wonderland, or Wonderland, or Land, people call it different things, but um, anyway, so at Wonderland there's like, it's like an amusement park, it's like one of the most famous amusement parks, not even just in Canada, but like in the world. And so pretty much there is something called Halloween Haunt, or Haunt, and like, it's like a little, like, cool event that people go to. And so, anyway, Haunt Manor in Niagara Falls is the next one. And so, Niagara Falls has a lot of terrifying attractions to scare you witless, such as Nightmare's Fear Factory. But one of the best is Haunt Manor. Haunt Manor has been named Canada's scariest haunted attraction and the number one Halloween attraction in the country. Haunt Manor is located just west of Battle of Lundy's Lane, where the bloodiest battle in history took place and many people reported sightings of ghosts. The attraction has a theoretical hayride corn maze, and seven themed haunted houses each year. The themes for the haunted houses change. Artfully carried out by the 100 plus actors, staff, and design crews who specially train to entertain and frighten visitors. So find out if you can survive this year. The date of the event open every week on plus Halloween through September, October, and November. So the next one is pumpkin festival at prairie gardens alberta so that's what that's what we're looking at and uh the haunted pumpkin festival at prairie gardens attracts visitors from across canada to edmonton's countryside every autumn this month long halloween festival is an annual tradition and has attracted one million people to the the farm since 1959, 1956, sorry. Those brave enough to make the trip can enjoy over 50 activities. Families will love hands-on attractions such as the scarecrow making workshop, duck races, and ghost trains. Scarier haunted houses will keep adults on their toes. Foodies will also enjoy the homemade grandma's fudge fest festivity that is taking place at the this year every weekend until 31st october Ooh. 
Montreal Ghost Quebec is the next one, so that's what we're looking at. And uh, so pretty much the historic city of Montreal Quebec province will take on a spooky side when you tour with Montreal Ghost. The spine chilling ghost walk unveils old Montreal's sinister past at the gloomy stories of spirits that haunt the historic district. A professional actor will take you on with them immerse storytelling adventures to discover unexplained phenomena. You will visit outdoor locations while disturbing and significant events will have been taking place. Goosebumps guaranteed. Available year round. So the next one we have is Galley Farms in British Columbia. And so pretty much Galley Farms really comes alive in autumn as the working family farm plays host to its annual festival of the year. And pretty much the hair raising highlight of the event is its cornfield of horror. The attraction is fully animated and includes a scary haunted mansion, Pirates Island, and Adam's Graveyard for the Brave. The much scarier 6,000 foot square carnival haunted house boasts even more frightening features, but the, f the faint hearted can use the chicken exits if, too, if it gets too much. The event is a crazy train that has over a mile of animated seasonal displays and in Madame Elizabeth's sentence, everything comes alive as ghost stories from the past are told. Galley Farm Pumpkin Fest, which is open every weekend in October, is a must visit for the families. There is a face painting, kids game live, entertainment, train rides, playgrounds, and lots more. And it is from October 12th to 13th, 18th to 21st, and uh, 25th to 31st from 6 to 10 p.m. The next one is the Pumpkin Fest at Downey's Farm, Ontario. I, hmm, this is just in Ontario. And so pretty much just under an hour from Toronto, Downey's... No, oh, this is, this is kind of close to where I'm to. And uh, Downey's Farm, which is a uh, so month-long Halloween celebration, perfect if you're staying in the city after hired hired a car in Canada. Pumpkin Fest, as it's known, is uh, farmed for having thousands of pumpkins on show. There are plenty of more attractions for families to enjoy. Kids will shriek. Will we get entertaining shows, blood curdling face painting activities, and terrifying boom barn? Get into spirit making your own scarecrows, and don't miss the pumpkin typhoon attraction. And the event is on oct until 28th of October. Boo at the Zoo Magnetic Hill Zoo, New Brunswick. And so let's see. Um, so, this Halloween event has few factors that range from mildly spooky to incredibly scary. There's something. Check out the face painting at the zoo's playground, which tallest Atlantic Canada. Scaredy Cats is a venue that has spooky music, fog machines, gory displays, and frightening fully costumed actors. And so it's from, it goes October 20th. 21st, 27th, and 28th. Train of Terror, Moosley, Mo Mosley, Alberta. So the Train of Terror at Aspen Crossing offers visitors truly unique Halloween train experience, but beware, it really isn't for the faint-hearted. It is the scariest train haunt in Canada, taking visitors on a spine tingling interactive train ride that will ultimately leave you thrilled, electrified, and terrified. And it's on October, until October 30th. Canada's Wonderland, Toronto, Ontario. This is what I was talking about. So, Canada's Wonderland transforms to offer terrifying nights visitors in October this year. It'll be bigger, better, and even more uh, petrifying than ever before. Visitors 
must brave their way through the 20 haunted attractions avoid the zombies on a 40 interactive dark ride escaping the horrifying maze before time runs out which and watch out for the 70 7 700 monsters that will be prowling at the park open every friday saturday and sunday throughout october so this is halloween haunt and now haunted Night zipline in Victoria, British Columbia. So we have, if a zipline alone isn't scary enough for you, why not upgrade to a haunted night nighttime ride instead? And so Vancouver Island zipline tours in terror and fun. There are strange creatures running amok and spooky tales to be told. Ghosts, monsters, and tall tales are all this. Very interactive experience available only around Halloween 26th, 27th, and 28th of October. So those are like the kind of spooky events in Canada, and I like they're kind of cool. But anyway, um, since it's like 12 or 9, I don't know what else I'll be doing. But um, I don't know. I guess I'll catch you guys then. like we're gonna wrap up the video now just because it is getting kind of late i gotta take a snoozer and then we're off to toronto tomorrow at like two so that should be interesting i'm not working tomorrow um and i'm not working monday but um my next co-op day is on tuesday tuesday night we're shooting raising energy so i'm just trying to catch up on a little bit of sleep now but anyway um, I don't know. This should be fun. Next week I'm working Saturday and Sunday, 6 to closing. But honestly, I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video. So I would basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're watching another video, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. See you guys. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's funny to shop it on the song and go sound nothing like the shit we've been doing. <laughs>